Hi, and very welcome everyone. We're very happy that this lunch seminar generates such a great interest. And I think we also managed now to get the technical things working because we're streaming this, so this is an online seminar, which means you should even more ask questions afterwards and meanwhile, meanwhile the presentation. Uh, so I believe we've got some partners out in Europe and maybe also in Asia or mm -hmm. and Africa listening. Very welcome to you too. Uh, my name is Jill Johnson and I'm working as a communications manager here at Karolinska Institutet. And this uh, online webinar I would also say is thanks to uh, Arcade which is a research project that is also uh, coordinated from Karolinska Institutet. And today what is this all about? Well, this is a seminar series, and this is the third one, this lecture, where we help you that works in EU research projects with how to communicate mm -hmm. your research results to the general public. And all the seminars have a little different angle, but all of them are targeting these specific issues. And we have two upcoming seminars and the first one and the next one will be in April where we will talk about how to find your story within your EU project because sometimes it feels like you might not even have something to tell but there's always a story to tell and we will work with that on this specific occasion and the last one will be in May where we will have a science journalist speaking about the work in the media newsroom which was one of the seminars that you had been asking for earlier on. And who are we then? Come here, the name of the organizer is the, also the name of the research project that is a coordinating and support action uh, project. And that means that we support other EU projects within uh, FP7 health research mainly but also looking into Horizon 2020 and the ERC grants on a broader perspective right now. And our aim is to improve in communication of the outcome of these EU projects. We started in 2011 and runs for three years, which means we will end this year in the fall, in September. And we got in total nine partners in six European countries. And this EU project is actually coordinated right here from the Communications and Public Relations Office, KI. And we have the coordinator, Ulla Bredberg, sitting over here. And my colleague, Cecilia Odlind, also working for the project here. Um, well, <coughs> Two very important upcoming events that I also would like to just tell you shortly about uh, is our next network meeting that will be given in Berlin next week. And I believe all of you should have one invitation with the program in front of you. So please have a look on that and if you're interested mm -hmm. there is still time to uh, to just uh, send us an email and tell us and you can join this. So this is also about uh, communicating EU research but that will be on a very European angle then. And also at Euroscience Open Forum which is a huge uh, science festival, science organization that is given every second year in Europe. We will give lot of seminars and one of them are about is about how to communicate a story and we will have both uh, triumphs and blunders so if you have a research communication story where you have managed or maybe not managed to communicate your research <coughs> then you're most welcome to just contact us and we will help you to share your story in Copenhagen this summer so if you would like some more information about this or whatever about concerning come here at Kalinske Institute, please don't hesitate to contact me. But for now, I leave the floor to Charlotte Hansel and uh, she's the speaker of today and she's been working for the European Commission in various policy areas since 1995 and right now she's located in Stockholm, a very mm. strange city, mainly she's working in Brussels and she's been working for uh, Potocnik, the 
at the DG Research for five years. And right now she's uh, head of the political sec section at the European Commission's representation in Sweden. So very welcome. <laughs>